Hello everyone, good evening. Today is November 7th. Welcome to another episode of Ripster Daily Recaps and Daily Teachings. Amazing day today, guys. That's what I was saying yesterday. You have to be patient. Some days are slow and then days like today when they come, we hit it. So we'll talk about a huge winner on D-Dog today, a big winner on Snow, which we were initially looking for to fade, but then we went long. Seven points or more on TMDX at open. We'll talk about how we found Tesla midday long with high conviction on with the option flow and the technical setup. We'll talk about a few other names as well, AYEXELH Intel, but really want to talk about some of the swing winners. So swing season is back. The swings are starting to win. So we'll discuss a few of our swing winners, Google, Apple, EXPE, which stands out, and I will talk about AMD chart pattern as well. So we'll discuss some of our swing winners and how to focus on the swings and how we are going to do more focus on the swings in the community. And then we'll discuss uh, SPY QQQ action today, how it was a bullish market, what did one hour chart tell us, and how, how we could stay bullish on the SPY and QQQ today. So a lot to discuss, guys. Stay tuned. Um, let's start. So before I start, this is our watch list. This is the watch list I create. I come 45 minutes before the market open. I create the watch list for everybody. I create the levels. So D-Dog, D-Dog, which we played, was on our watch list. CELH was on our watch list. Team DX, a big winner, again, was on watch list. Snow was also on watch list. So as you see everything, we put it on a watch list. And I split it into a news play, market indicators, market plays, and pennies. Even this penny was good at open, went from five to 10 bucks. And I check all the news sources. I do a wake up summary every morning. I wake up for my whole community. Then, you know, when go through all the pre-market movers, pre-market movers one, pre-market movers two, pre-market movers three. So I go through all the pre-market movers and then we create this watch list. And we find our place out of this watch list. And when the day starts, if something else comes up, we play that. But the watch list is enough and day in, day out, we, we do really good here. And then I create my levels. Here are my levels that I create for everybody. So these are the levels. You can screenshot them and you check how they worked out. So, um, you know, if you take AMD, it broke out of 112 today, really, really um, went, pushed hard. If you look at my Tesla levels, 215 was a support that held and Tesla bounced and pushed from that support. So really, really levels always, always to the point, very simple strategy of creating these levels. I spent 20 minutes in the morning to create these and share it with my community. So, all right, guys. So let's look at, um, let's look at the, some of the other. Then I make a plan for each ticker. D-Dog had a plan in pre-market. CELH had a plan in pre-market. PA Planet Fitness, Uber, TMDX had a plan in the pre-market and all of the trip, AWVX, Intel. So all of them have a plan pre-market. And then, you know, we play what we see. I guide what I see. And, you know, we focus on the conviction to have a conviction in a trader, not alerts. The conviction in the trader who can himself make those decisions to have a profitable day in the market or not, not lose, not lose, not lose the, the hard-earned capital in the market. So that's what our focus is and that's what I teach. And let's go ahead, start with our first big player pair um, today, DDoc. So D-Dog, guys, was our main play today. As you see, D-Dog was on top of our watch list, right? There was a reason because, there are a few reasons, because D-Dog had a really good earnings, a bunch of, and if you don't know how to read a good earnings, you know, you can go into my community, you can watch my webinar there, or you, if you know, you're, or you can go to my website and all the free information is there. But anyways, the point is the earnings was really good and it, it was getting those upgrades coming in to support the good earnings. So how did we trade it? What was the plan? So DDoG, the plan was bullish to neutral based upon two levels, 100. 100 was one level and the next level was 95. So we were watching those two levels and I was watching those two levels and I, I gave it a little bit time to see to see what it's doing. And, is it, and then when I saw this hammer candle or a, or a wick candle that held this 96 area, 96.30, that's when I said it's a clear level now for your for your risk and you long there. Start with a small size long 
and then there are a bunch of breakouts, 100 and 1 of 150. It breaks out of 100, you add more there, then you have a full size, and then it breaks out pre-market highs, you add more there, and then you wait, then you wait for, for it to move. Then you set your targets, and what were my targets? My targets were 103, 103.72, 104.71. You can clearly see my targets here, that's where I get went long. My second guidance was the breakout level of 101.50, I was on the voice, talking about the 100 level as well and we moved the stops to 98 as we are moving up you need to move your stops up so we moved our stops from here to here and we let it work and i said hold hold let it work and we faced the seller at 103 how do i know because there were candles were getting rejected it pulled back but it held 512 register clouds it held it and then it broke out and then it went towards our target you know, my target was 144.70, but we hit close to 104.43. You know, our calls went really good. One or two calls were up 50%, 50%, 60%. Really, really good trade there. And everybody was profitable. If you talk about the shares, if you risk, if you risk anywhere here, you risk $2. You $2, you made 4 or $6 by end of the day. So one risk to three or four reward trade, guys. So beautiful, beautiful trade, d dog all day you know most and you know community was as you see my price alerts were going in which are at the key levels you can see this hundred price alert which is in our automated api which tells us the special levels and that's going through and then 10350 and 10341 and beautiful trade guys so really 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 nice and these are the setups i like these are a setups a plus setups let's move to the next one all right, guys, so next one is snow. So snow was up on the sympathy of D-Dog because it's D-Dog, it's a spear, right? So it's a peer and they do the same thing. So D-Dog was also up because of that. So I had an open bias, right? I had an open bias. I had an open bias at open and I even was waiting to see if I can short it, right? So if I can short it, so if you see snow and it was on our watch list pre-market and then um, we were looking at it one second let me show you guys so we were discussing snow so because it's up there but i was watching this area right so this area clearly was the key this right here was clearly the key and it was first amateur candle first 10 minute candle was indecision candle and I even saw a glimpse that it might want to break it. And I was ready to short if it kept rejecting the highs. But then d dog start to go. And I said, no bearish bias. After 13 minutes of market open, I said, no bearish bias. And I said, can scalp long. And then we longed it. And it broke up out of the pre-market highs. Then it pushed from 157 to all the way to 162.53. My targets were 161.84, 162.85. I missed my next target by 30 cents. That's fine. You get closer, you see lower highs, you start to take the profits, and when 512 breaks, you cut completely your profits. Right? So you see how you change the buys. You know, and it was never bearish. Right? So those who know my teachings, those who know our process, this was never bearish. But you keep your bias open. You keep your bias open in case it breaks there. Right, It breaks, it could pull back to the EMA clouds. So that was the setup, guys, on Snow, another winning trade. Let's go to another big, huge winner this morning. So I was also on voice talking about these plays um, like TMDX. I already gave a plan in the pre-market. I said bullish bias is over 54 breakout is over 58 right if 54 breaks then will be gap filled right but it broke the 58 and then when i saw the strength i said versus 56 means that's your stops and you watch the pullbacks for longs so on the voice i was you know continuously talking about be long 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 and as soon as it broke 58 so you you start as soon as you see that candle making holding holding that level you start a position and you put your stops versus the 56 right two do two dollars two dollar uh, is your risk and then guess what it pushed to 68.47 my target was 70 we were close right i closed most of my position there and when it pulled back finally break breaking under this lower high candle and then we stop out completely but CYN. we risked two dollars 
And how much did we make? We made $10. One risk to five reward trade on TMDX. One risk to five reward trade. Again, this was the setup. Gapper, nothing is too high. Gapping up, pre-market highs, pre-market lows, and there are EMA close, close, very close, just like how I teach in my webinars. Very, very close, right here. And then, you know, you just follow the setup. You know, beautiful move. So this was a huge win, huge win. Every the room was going. You know, if I just show you guys today, uh, if you want to see, so everybody in the community was green with this this trade. This all these three trades made up our day. Let's look at few other trades. There was one scalp I did today on the short side. So this trade was trip. Okay, so trip. Trip was heavy right at open. I added a starter short right at open. I saw the heaviness. I added the starter short. So I added the starter short right here, 1730s, and then, you know, covered into 1690s, then covered more and left a little bit peace. And when it finally started to recover, then, you know, I closed it, right? So I closed it, if you see, by 1046. I was out, right? 1046, I was out. It was still under my entry, 1740. I was risking, now let's go to the 10 minute chart. So now let's go to the 10 minute chart. So I was risking high of the EMA clouds. I was risking 30, 40 cents. I made, I made over 50 cents. So that was, that was one risk to one reward trade. Small size, you know, and uh, it did not break it started to hold this level so i knew it's not going to fade because it's starting to hold 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 it has to fade right away i have to see this candle going under this level right away so that's my warning to think about getting out but you can clearly see my guidance 934 heavy at a store starter short cover some still heavy but move the brakes stops break even and then finally finally you know you get out of the complete position and this was with the shares so nice short setup. I always love these gap fill shorts, even if you know today was a bullish market. So we did not get those crazy gap fills. Let's look at the next one. So guys, Tesla was a special one, right? Now, if you see my levels that I gave in pre-market, I was give I, I gave this level of 215, which was ultimate support, and then I had this level of the pre-market support. So I had already provided these levels. But again, it's a bearish trend. These are B minus setups. What is a B or C minus setups? These are the setups which are against the trend, which are, you know, which are low probability against the trend setup, you know. Um, so these are against the trend moves, but I didn't touch it till then. Then guess what? We saw the flow coming in. I even tweeted about the flow. I gave the um, lot of, uh, you know, if you see, I tweeted about the flow as well. And I gave this flow because we have all these free scanners, even community, which we keep eyes on. And we we found this flow, but the technically it was not bullish. Technic but technically it was not bullish. So we had to wait. The flow came, the flow came right about here. And then that's what I said. Flow is here. Base over 218, we will be key. So we'll take a position. And once it confirmed the push, Confirm the push. I'm saying confirming the push and then you risk that level and you take a position when 218 holds and you will take a position. And the next target was 219. This level was target. Then this level was target. All you do is trail your stops. You move your stops up. And I was locking on the way. And then these calls were 220 calls. These were all lottos. Look at that. 220 this week, 200,000, 100,000, 200,000, 170,000, 170,000. That was over more than a million. Somebody was buying those calls and that guy made money because these went up to 50, 60, 60%. Percent. You know, I traded the same once. You know, they were up 35%, I logged one third. They rejected HOD but held the trend and then $4 per share. So we started here by by the end of the day, it was a $4 per share profit and 60% on 220 calls. You can see step-by-step -step guidance, nothing hindsight. 
everything time stamped right here guys so i love this high conviction trades where we are always giving you the conviction and then you have the technicals which are your rules right your, your rules are the most important so you look at your rules and you follow them and then you trade those right so so that was beautiful let's go to the next one so ayx was ayx was the only loser for me and it was loser on a starter because it never really confirmed the short right but i tried to position myself before that to for the short only only um, you know thing i missed i could have gone when i got out of my short i should have gone long because there was a clear level to risk you know it was just just it was just like 30 40 cents to risk and i could have made two dollars right so i could have made two dollars instead i closed my short quickly and i you know i mean it was a good day but you always want to improve execute much better so if you see nice bounce on the ema cloud our system working perfectly and it went from 35 35 bucks to all the way to 37 bucks right so so this was my plan dearish bailey will 35 and 34 and 50 these were the two key levels 34 50 it held both the levels you know and then it pushed higher but i was wanting to shorting it because maybe i was biased by the daily bearish daily but i know only a starter 35 never gave up right and i was still short but then it held up and that's when i said i will bail in first 20 minutes guys in first 20 minutes i know that it's holding and i need to bail and you can see that i don't hold till that time higher higher candle no lower highs that's time to bail guys so the key here is to understand the system works change your bias and not get too biased and destroy yourself all right guys so let's go to the next one celh guys i was think was right at before the open it ceh showing me bearish you know i should have seen higher highs in the pre-market but it was giving up that's not typical of celh on a good earnings and when it pushed down this first candle you know my levels were 185.60 and 188 it never held 188 it gave up 188 and it dropped back to the yesterday lows then I said leave it. I neither wanted to short it, neither I wanted to long it because long was against my rules. Short, I was, you know, I mean, I didn't really, maybe I was biased because good growth stock and um, maybe I could have shorted it. You know, it's, you know, it pushed higher and respect to the short rules. But anyways, better not to trade it. There were so many good plays today and it was heavy and you clearly see fail under the clouds, retest the clouds and fail back again. So CLH, was the guidance today guys so intel guys was also on watch today because of the news yesterday intel my level was 3820 if that holds i will be long and it did hold that level right but when this first candle was under the clouds i was you know i didn't i didn't revisit it and i didn't have my price alerts but then it reclaimed the clouds and then it broke out of pre-market highs right and my target was uh, 39.10 and 38.90 it did touch our 38.90 target so that was intel not my personal trade but the guidance was pretty spot on and um, could have been better you could have added after this here and then you put your stops here added the ema cloud reclaim put your stops here it was could have been good trade and i mean it's just less atr it's atr is just like one dollar but it's you know small move so anyways guys let's look at next one so guys next three examples are about our swing winners the big swing winners that we had in our community um you know um, our swing winners on expe i'm not going to discuss pins today but expe google and we had a third one we will discuss the apple chart right so we'll discuss these these swing winners that we had in our community and why so you see google what, what was my setup and i teach these setups i teach these setups again and again i will probably do a webinar in-depth boot camp for uh, for the community you can join and you know attend those webinars but i've been teaching this stuff from years right and when the market environment is right that's when you hit those swings 
and my swings are always before and after. I never do a hinge side, right? Because I know and I'm confident about my setups. So let's look at the first setup that I've been talking about, Google. Okay, so let's see how Google panned out. So let's go, let's go to the original idea. So Google gap fill for the swing from this 129. And I did say 128 pullbacks you can add or you can or you can or you can risk that 128 level right so you can do the both the things and then it's, you know gap fill was the target filling the gap filling the gap filling the gap still filling the gap at 50 ema test so nice trade so far guys i mean it's it's just it's just simple simple trade you know and you, you can take half the profit and move the stops break even or trail the stops and wait for next level maybe the gap doesn't fill all the time but this doesn't mean you don't take profit since it moved from 128 to 131 you know in just three days so very short term swing beautiful winner so yeah so that was a good swing winner so let's go to our next swing chart idea all right guys let's look at apple all right so let me show you what was the idea before and after here you go. I gave 175 as a risk. Downtrend channel. This is the before. This is the before. And then it starts to push out of the channel right here. That's when you hold or add. And then you continuing updates. It's holding up. It's a daily time frame. Your target should be higher. Now it's breaking out of the daily resistance and the chart pattern. And you know, hitting 182s today. So beautiful, beautiful trade guys, repeatable setup, repeatable swing setup with the technicals, post earnings play. You know, so these are the setups you have to find. These are setups I've been teaching. I gave this setup to everyone on Twitter. You know, everybody should have banked, you know, and I got some nice DMs as well. All right, let's look at the next swing. All right, this was a huge one for us. This was a huge one for us, EXPE, you know, um, because uh, this was, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So our stops were 1010 and the proposed entry was 112 and it, we even day traded it for nice win. But let me show you. And again, this was a gap fill setup. Post earnings gap fill setups. Okay, here you go. You know, solid earnings. Solid earnings. So solid earnings, keep eyes on the gap trade, decent upgrades, you know, and then today the gap filled. And when the gap is excess support and resistance and continue to push over, you take, leave one third, you leave one third, watch the intraday action, watch the intraday action and you see the push to the highs 121.17, all day 512 EMA trend, you know, beautiful beautiful swing winners guys now let me show you similar setup on amd of course amd was a hundred psychological level that you could trade but this look at this this channel breakout even this was before and after by me right so you look at this channel weekly channel breakout from 100 psychological level now testing a 0.5 fibonacci So right in front of you guys, no magic. Learn these setups for consistent growth. I have been showing this from years, years, years. If environment is not there, I do not swing. If environment is there, I swing, right? You know, we have a bunch of other swings, Tesla, AI, SRPT, all profitable swings. When we lose, we don't, you know, crowd strike. Yeah, forget about the crowd strike. It's a good one for a swing as well, for our community. So anyways, guys, um, after, you know, a little bit on SPY QQQ. Yeah, we held this, once this breakout, that's what I said, hold it and wake out. Everybody knows I gave them the levels and we were trending all day, no reason to cut. So uh, market is bullish, guys. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We still need to break out of this big pivot tomorrow. We'll see if it does. If it does, our swings will work and we still need to see IWM do good so that small caps can start moving. So anyways, guys, this was all for today um, really excited for for the market if it if it stays hot if it stays hard like this we'll kill the day trades we will kill the swings um, 
keep watching my videos uh, for more education dm me on twitter dm me on my website comment below i'm always here to help if you want to learn more join my community we trade together thank you guys <coughs> excuse me and i'll uh, see you all tomorrow by the way there's uh, discount codes in the description for those who wants to join goodbye